Poco X ray or Poco X ray NFC. Version 4.0 Rising US July 5, 2024 is the security patch. Android version is 14. June 1, 2023 is the vendor security patch. Kernel user is 4.14.348. IGRS Igris kernel has been used to July 12th build and the build date is July 13. This is the latest build available for Poco X3 slash NFC. This is typical home screen. You also get Autos launcher here. If I go into settings, I can get basic settings and some of the customizations are also given here. You guys can see and miscellaneous settings you get all this necessary options and this is typical home screen and app trial and there is even a con recording basic con recording enable that choose the output format and other things from here as you can see the bit rate and sample rate also you can choose it from here now if you make a call from here the main dialer it will be recorded auto recorded and it will be not going to announce that you are recording the call which is good thing direct to the call feature is available Regarding camera application, there is a Go camera here. Video mode, you will get these options. Yeah, basic camera if you want anything advanced things to use. Always I recommend to use Gcam ports. My personal favorite is Arnold Wind Gcam for this Poco X slash NFC again. And Dolby Atmos is also pre installed in this particular room, which is a good move here. To the rising OS, have good options here. And this is the app. Some of the apps are pretty sure FM radio is also working fine here. We'll straight away show some results what I got in this particular ROM, guys. Like gig min score, 735 single score, and 1763 multi score, and 2,34,469 here. Very much low score, and it but I think so. It hasn't recorded well. This is the version I'm using, Tandy 2, and this is the safety and status result. Both getting passed, but device is not certified here. Even I tried to enable this spoofing options. If you can make it out uh, for some reason, it will become certified. Again, this is the internet connection I have. Airtel Fiber 230 Mbps. It's pulling fine. 4G Plus is working fine. No problem regarding that. HDR 10 support and level 1 certification is there in this particular room. And Charging speed around 3.23 p.m. It is showing turbo charging if you guys can see or not 27% around 3.54 it is 60% and 4.4 4, it is 71% turbo charging I mean the 33 watt charging support is available in this particular room moving into settings here like personalize your device you get lock screen customizations like depth wallpapers again you get plenty of options in opacity horizontal offset and vertical offset and even depth of the wallpaper subject once you enable that you will get these options here as you can see you can actually choose the images of your own and make it out user switcher media cover art filter and fade level battery information weather settings you get a lot more options to add on the lock screen and even the widgets are also given here as you can see like lock style font style and even the widgets again as you can see like mini widget ringer this is how it looks like the lock screen customizations and we will come back here now coming into themes again you get all the necessary options like ui style also you can change Volume panel styles are given. A lot more customization here to available. Toolbox, you get buttons, customizations, full screen apps. If certain app is not paying in the full screen, you can enable that. Game space is available. And at navigation again, you get necessary options, shake gestures, shake gestures, intensity. You can choose back to long press. There are multiple options to choose for each and every action of gesture. You can keep certain option here and spoofing is there and unlimited photo storage is there I haven't found any uh, unlimited sorry IFS games here anyhow and notifications you get these customizations here sound also you get all this necessary customization however we have Dolby almost and this is the quick settings toggles you guys can see smooth and responsive I am really liking the uh, this one 
viral synaptic feedback and the animations in this particular ROM. Now going to actual settings like display, you get like this and dark theme option. See the UI delay for the first time. And if I enable that and true amulet dark mode, these options, my personal favorite, it should be there in any custom ROM. Again, colors, I will make it boosted. Reality display engine, you get all these options. Tap to wake, tap to sleep. Other options remains very similar here. Battery, battery usage, yeah, it has been recorded. I can say one thing, the battery life is very good. Yes, adult battery return is very much minimal, I can say. Very good battery life you can expect from this particular room. I already shown the turbo charging support here. And sound and vibration, again you get all the necessary options here. System haptics, again you get all the intensities to adjust from here. Yeah. The patterns are also given. Direct sound settings are not given here. Let's check them out. And location, you get all these options. Security and privacy, you get both fingerprint and face unlock. Let's check them out. Fingerprint unlock. Yeah, it is fast and accurate. Now the face unlock. Yeah, it's also fast and accurate to unlock your smartphone using that. If I check out these things, yeah, app lock, extend, unlock options are also given in this particular ROM, guys. Everything is working fine. Accessibility menu is also given here. And inter system again, gestures, gesture navigation, navigation here, pill length and trades also be adjusted here. And all necessary options are given. Show me parts here, you get LCD, KCL, para refresh it, but Clear speaker is given, haptic feedback strength is given, direct sound settings are missing in this particular room, but you can use this dollback pause again. These are the UI user interface results and everything. These are the recent apps and all. Let's see the BGMA how it handles in this particular room. The UI scansing graphic settings is just smooth plus ultra only. Nothing so fancy or high FS count is enabled there. Yeah, it has a mess. The what are the FS count is really limited here, since I can't able to make better team safe. Yeah, you guys can see the gameplay here. Definitely, it's not unplayable, but it's not going to benefit you from. That's quite fun. Yeah, that's the new thing we experience against. Shotgun have always an advantage for me or any gun. And I will get at least a kill. Let's make that happen in this video. and now benefit I don't have any shotgun say I took even worse yen <laughs> yeah we'll come back at that's the gaming experience I can say everything is very similar to the previous video the average toys little bit differences but Gaming experience is better in the average choice. Again, the, here you have Dolby Atmos, there you don't have it. Check out, guys, check the video, compare reverse and you get a very good answer instead of uh, asking me. You can check out the videos both. Then, if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smelling Bible for now.